What's going on, it's JT. I wanted to catch up and do at least one more podcast before the end of the year since I had just carved out time to fix the podcast link that I had for iTunes. I had carved out some time to finish the coding of that thanks to a lot of figuring out what steps I'd missed in the beginning. I had certain podcasts that would show up, others that didn't, and the biggest issue was after removing the videos because I didn't want to put the YouTube videos on iTunes because it's just the logo with some effects going on. I wanted to have an audio only because that makes it easier for, you know, it kind of makes it no more, uh, it, it makes it a lot better, I'd say. You, you don't need a video file of my logo. Um, playing around with the Blueberry Podcast plugin trying to validate the RSS feed that took probably about two or three hours to figure out what I had done wrong what I had done wrong was miss putting in the URL for the audio file and some of the posts that I put in the website so a lot of work to figure out one tiny step which is equivalent to coding a website and or an app and you get a bunch of red squiggly lines or in SQL Server or MySQL, etc., and you miss the semicolon. Uh, you know, you miss the semicolon, or you miss putting in another a slash div. You know, it's but it's finally done. So I figured, you know, it's the end of 2017. I finished the podcast link. Even though I got a couple issues, I still got to figure out. For the most part, it's good to go. And I had a bunch of notes that I wanted to try to cover and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do instead of having a 30 minute podcast where I bounce around between more controversial stuff and the IT or fitness stuff I'm thinking maybe at some point I just split them somehow you know maybe five to ten minutes talking about this or that that way you kind of pick and it's kind of easier to pick and choose what you're listening to until I figure out whether I want to divide podcasts into other ones or if I'm just gonna leave this as a bulk of stuff that just gets done all in one podcast and it's just a bunch of bouncing around all over the place um this isn't my this isn't a passion project this is more of a way of one getting through my notes there's so many things i want to write about but it takes a lot of time for me to sift through my writing and get it the way i want it to be Sometimes it's easier to just say it and then go back and fix it. You know? uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're interested, you can check out the podcast. You can subscribe to the RSS feed from golovelively.com slash feed slash podcast. Again, that's golovelively.com slash feed slash con- uh, podcast. That's the RSS feed. And the one on iTunes is you can simply search Go Live Lively. It's a pretty hectic looking link to see that in the iTunes Apple's uh, website. Um, I wanted to, f- to start this podcast off with talking about, well, not, not talking about, I simply just wanted to play it. What I consider to be the most patriotic song, uh, Real American by Rick Derringer. Uh, that's if you're confused as to what that is or maybe you're not sure. That's the theme song from Hulk Hogan. That's his most popular theme song. Uh, Hulk Hogan made that song what it is, arguably. Some are going to say it's definitely not argue- arguable, but Hulk Hogan made, made that, that theme song what it is in a lot of people's minds, definitely. And But I don't want to have to deal with any copyright issues, but just at random times, when I think of certain things going on with the country and you know what it means to be an American and anything around that line, I start thinking, you know, I am a real American, fight for the rights of every man. You know, this just, just gets you so hype, you know, fight for what's right, fight for your life. I'm off key, sound horrible. I'm not a great singer at all. Uh, I, I really like that song. It's random, I know. I just wanted to say that I, I love that song. Yes, even more so than the national anthem. 